How are we doing guys? Welcome back to another Circle Lounge video. You're right, we're not in the, we haven't got our new bar, we're not in the bar. No, we're in my gaff. And it's uh, a series that I'm going to call The Isolation Creations. Um, I can't take credit for that, but I'm not going to tell you who did, so it's mine. I thought of that. So, today we're going to be making uh, shit, quite you. Uh, a white Russian, really nice and simple, vodka, coffee liqueur of any sort, milk or a mixture of milk and cream, and it just makes this. Three really simple ingredients, really good. You can make them all at home. I'll show you exactly what you need to make them. For a white Russian, you'll need a Boston glass, which is the bottom part, a Boston tin, which is the top part, and you'll need some ice in there as well to shake. You'll want a strainer to strain all the ice out that you don't want. You'll want some of your nicest glasses with some ice in them. A measurer to measure out your alcohol and your ingredients. Some vodka. Uh, this is courtesy of Duty Free coming back from Spain. And so it's plastic. And you'll need some coffee liqueur. I've got liquor 43 because again I came back from Spain and that's what I got. But the, anything like Tia Maria, Kahlua, um, I think I think other other stuff other places uh, do coffee liqueur now as well. So anything you can find really. And most importantly of all, you're going to need some milk. The less towards skimmed, the better. You can make what we use in Circle Lounge, which is called half and half, which is half milk and half double cream. Get started. I'm going to start with your vodka. I'm going to put 25 ml in of that. But I'm making two, so I'm going to put two 25 mil, mil measures in, and then we'll get our coffee liqueur again. Any can, any Kahlua Tia Maria is great. I was just in Spain, so I got some liquor 43. Same again off that, and then you want to get a 50 mil measure of milk or half an hour. So you're doing exactly half and half between your alcohol and your mixer as well. I'm going to use some vanilla syrup. So this is completely optional. If you just want it a little sweeter with a little bit of flavouring, then you can do it. And I had some vanilla syrup lying around from when I made Pons Saint Martinis. So I'm going to add some in there as well. And then you want to get your ice. And on down, smack it down, make sure that that's going nowhere, and then turn it round, up to your shoulder or up here or there or anywhere, and then you can shake it like that. So easiest way I always say to people is you can start off by having two fingers on each tin, so two here and two here, and then your thumbs go here, and that means nothing's moving from there now. So you can shake just like that, because what you're wanting is for the cocktail to go from here all the way down to here. You want to hit it with some force because you really want to froth that milk up as well. You want it nice and light. So. It's all about introducing air into the cocktail. As well as chilling down and lengthening it a little bit with that ice. So then you take your strainer, single strainer or holophon strainer is what they call. Get your two nice glasses here. And then you wanna hold your strainer. It's normally got a little point here, so there's a little middle bit like that of metal. So you wanna hold it there, so if you push down, it's not gonna go anywhere. And then you wanna measure them out equally. Because you might, you might end up being selfish out realizing if you pour one glass full and the other glass is half full. Doesn't matter if you make a mess, because you can always clean up afterwards, which is the most important part. Most important part is to wash all this up afterwards. You don't want to be one of them people, and then wash your hands as well, of course. So I'll do that now. You want to get in there, you want to get in there, you want to be 
feel that thumb a little bit. And I feel the other thumb. Really get in there, you know. Just as if you were shaking that cocktail. And voila, your hands. When you come back to these, <laughs> I see there was a point to it in that one. When you come back to these, you'll see that it's kind of that top bit has become an entire froth. And that's all the, all the frothy milk on top, so that'll be nice and light. Cheers, guys. Mm. There is something great about that. Milk and coffee, done deal, it's great. Vodka, add that little kick to it. Absolutely perfect. I really hope you enjoyed uh, my little makeshift bar today. Um, please, uh, if you can do, if you do end up making uh, some like Russians or anything like that, uh, comment or message or, or send me some photos of your isolation creations and that will make me feel really warm inside. So, Only a few things left to say. Cheers, Nan. Where everybody, where everybody knows your name. All hail. Ted Danson. This is my signed photo of Ted Danson from Cheers. You don't know who Ted Danson is? Why well, haven't been saying it for these past three years though?